The Phantom Thieves of Hearts are back, and this time they've got multiple cities to save in Persona 5 Strikers, launching on February the 23rd. The game is a crossover of Koi Tecmo's Hack and Slash Dynasty Warriors series with Atlas's role-playing Persona series, combining features from both popular franchises to create one action-packed experience. Deck here from Fanatical, and in this video I'll be taking through the facts, features and information on Omega Force and Peace Studios exciting anime hack and slash RPG. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to pre-order Persona 5 Strikers from Fanatical ahead of launch and save 18%. The plot for Persona 5 Strikers is just as deep as you would expect from the series, due to the game still leaning into the RPG side of things. In fact, the story takes place after the events of Persona 5, roughly four months after that is, and ties in closely to what transpired with the Phantom Thieves during this time. But what about the plot? Well, Joker and his friends are planning to reunite for a summer vacation. But the barbecue and night sleeping under the stars will have to wait as there's trouble on the horizon. The group discovers that an evil ruler by the name of King has released an army of enemies called Shadows, and they are attacking civilians in alternate worlds known as Jails. And those attacked in these jail realms will begin to act strangely in the real world. So to avoid a global catastrophe, Joker and the Phantom Thieves must once again assemble to kick some ass. In the game, you'll visit six different cities across Japan, as well as cook some tantalising regional recipes, and lend a helping hand to those in need as well. It's also worth noting that you can play Strikers without finishing Persona 5 or Royal, but this new game will be filled with spoilers, so you have been warned. Back again is the protagonist, aka Joker, and no, we don't mean the Mark Hamill one. Joker is perhaps the most known face of the Phantom Thieves, aside from the talking cat Magana, who is also back for Strikers. Accompanying these two and returning from the previous story are Yuji Sakamoto, who's the former Trackstar and Best Bud, as well as the Outcast and Takamaki. You'll also find Yasuki Kitagawa and fan favourite Makoto Nijima. And all of these are fully playable in Strikers along with a few other faces. The game introduces you to a new Phantom Thief too, the mysterious AI Sophia. She's known as Humanity's Companion and has a quirky personality, but she's also a robot who is attempting to learn the nature of a human heart, so expect lots of heartwarming dialogue from her. The Masao genre is all about action. You will control a hero and defeat waves and large groups of enemies, and oh boy do we love it. While everything on screen does happen in real time, Strikers does nod to the RPG side of Persona by pausing the game for players to select abilities. And for those who love selecting and fusing Personas together, you'll be pleased to hear the Velvet Room is still included, so you can boost the spectral personalities and adopt new ones to fight with. With a hectic hack and slash combat and the RPG bonding of friends, fans of both genres will surely find something to love in the game. And all of this is surrounded by a traditional Persona story accompanied by the gorgeous anime animation and bright colours bursting from the screen. All of this is joined by the hordes of enemies swarming Japan's city streets, back alleys and underground areas, which is sure to make Strikers a hit. In Persona 5 Strikers, you'll assemble a team of four players in your party. You'll get Joker, and three changeable allies at your disposal. Depending on who you choose in your party, will offer up some tasty moves and strategies in battle. For example, Oracle is a super hacker, and while she doesn't partake in the battle, she's able to discover the ailments and weaknesses of your opponents. Wolf, on the other hand, is a ruthless investigator who can wield dual pistols and two-handed swords in battle, while Sophia uses a blaster for her gun attacks, as well as a yo-yo to quickly attack a large number of enemies. And the main man himself, Joker, is able to harness multiple personas to use in conflict. Many of these can be discovered and unlocked by either defeating mini-bosses in dungeon-type battles, being found in random item drops, or purchasing them from the Velvet Room. Persona 5 Strikers has got plenty of captivating action for you to enjoy, along with its gripping plot. But if you're looking for that little bit extra, then the Deluxe Edition is for you. Why I hear you ask? Well, not only do you get the base game, you'll also receive some digital bonus content. Let's start with the Persona Legacy BGM. This pack includes a lot of battle tracks from previous Persona games, right the way from Persona 1 all the way to the newer Persona 4 Golden. The second bonus content is the All Out Attack pack. This gives you and your party a nice boost in battle with various packs including Boost Skills pack, Armor pack and 10k Persona points. 
But the best thing is, with the Deluxe Edition, you can play the game from today. Now that is worth getting alone. Thanks for watching. Are you going to pick up the game? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check the link in the description to pre-order the game at Fanatical now.